Right, hello and welcome to this week's angling blog. Today you join me back out on the bank and we're in search of pike. We're on a venue today that's got a good wind on it and it's blowing right into our bank. So you'll have to forgive me for any noise on the mic. It is a windy, overcast day. So weather-wise at the moment, we are going through a bit of a warm patch. Temperatures of 8 degrees. With that wind blowing in, it's more like 4 or 5. But fingers crossed we can get a pike on the bank. As with all the adventures at the moment, it's all about trying to work out a venue. Today you join me on the banks with my mate Steve and you know we're on a venue that I think he's fished once before and I have never seen. So hopefully if you keep up with the channel on a weekly basis you are enjoying these new adventures. A lot of what I say is going to be similar because I'm trying to work out the venues but I must admit you know you wake up in the morning and everything's new. You know, sometimes when you go to the canal or some of the venues you've been a couple of times, you know, you know what to expect. But today, like on the last sessions, when that rod goes, you have no idea. It could be anything. Some of these venues are that big, there could literally be anything living in them. And I can't wait to get started. So there's my two rods. This rod here, I've got a section of mackerel that you can see on screen now. Got plenty of oil in it because it is, you know, it's, it's a clear venue, but it's one of them that's got that tinge of colour to it, a bit like the last one. I've got that bait, probably where my finger is out there, on a mackerel section. This rod here, again, straight out in front. And I've got that, as you can see on screen again, on a lamprey section. And that is in a roundabout, I'd say 20, 18 to 20 foot of water. So one comment that keeps coming up on the vlog, and I did mention it, I think, in another vlog, is you'll notice the rods have got, one's got the wrapping on the cork and one hasn't. And that's because all the runs are seem to be coming on this rod here. Once we get a run on that one and we know we've had a fish on each of them, then hopefully we can take the wrapping off. But when you cast your rods out, you always feel like one of them's going to go first. And I have edged me bets a bit today this rod here is in around 10 foot of water um, it's flat as it goes out you know it's it's deep but out in front there definitely is a drop off to around about 20 foot so i have edged my bets if i was going to say one of the rods would go i would imagine it's going to be one of the ones in the the 20 foot than the 10 foot we are well in winter so you would imagine them pike will be in that deeper water so we are trying to edge your bets to get that wrapping off but we'll see the baits are out it's time to sit back and hopefully there's a pike about just sat back in the shelter hoping that one of the rods go and on a previous vlog i did say about putting a float rod out to try and work a venue out today you can see both of them rods are on leads and that's just down to the sheer amount of distance that you're going to be casting from where we're sat we can see a good degree of the water although it is going to be hard to see any fish topping what you're looking for the things like you can see over there i don't know if it's picking it up in the top right hand corner you can see a grebe is working they're all signs in the area that you're looking for you know if the grebe's here then there must be some bait fish and if the bait fish are here you've got to hope the pike are as well so sometimes when you're looking at a water you're not always looking for the fish just time to sit back Put the kettle on, hopefully, one of the rods will go. So the rod on the lamprey has just pulled out of the clip. And we've got the first run of the day. Give it a bit of line. Set the hooks. And like I said, it's quite deep out there and you'll have to excuse the wind because it is in our faces today. But the fish in about 15 to 20 foot of water at least. I don't think it's very big. It's coming in quite easy. But then again, sometimes they can fool you under the rod tip. Time to take the wrapping off. There we go, the first pike of the day. 
nice early run probably about what four to five pound lovely markings and for the first trip to a venue a nice solid start as always with these socials we just need one more run and get one each and then the day will be complete but a nice confidence boosting start to the session they say i'll quickly go over the rig that i'm using nice and simple but work taking on a lamprey section you know loads of oil and a nice start let's get it straight back so as always with the piking you know if you're new to it you got to give them a good rest before they go back you know they put up a good fight and make sure they're right before they go back so that pike safely returned a bit of a closer look at the the fish that that pike regurgitated and you can see there it is a a tiny tiny it looks like a a roach definitely this year's fry and just shows what it's actively feeding on down there and it might be that you know using smaller baits might be the way to go like a sprat or there's no small smelt but that pike definitely had a liking for that lamprey so looking at that there that is the size of lamprey that i actually cut off the tail section before i cast it out and you can just see how much even that small little chunk mimic um, dwarfs the bait that it's coughed up they are amazing creatures at time pike and they do leave you with more questions than answers but nice to get that pike on the bank and we can finally take the wrapping off the rod so the moment has arrived it's time to unwrap it it's taken a few trips but eventually both rods have been christened and you guys that <laughs> were commenting in the comments both rods are now free so set up for the session is my 12 foot Corum snapper dead bait rod I've got a Zelos 6,000 reel and on there we've got 60 pound Piker braid. Business end, I've got a low resistance run ring from Corum, a three ounce gripper lead from Dinsmore, two beads to aid separation on the cast so it prevents you tangling, a swivel and then I've got my 18 inch wire trace and on this rod I've got it down to a mackerel section and nice simple setup. I'll put a link at the top of the screen now to how the mechanics work. It's a video on a mare that we fished and it just explains how the rig works and stuff like that. But that is the rig that will be on both rods today. And with that wind howling in, a much needed brew. It's not cold today, but when that wind comes in, it has got a bit of a chill to it. And there's no finer thing than being sat in the shelter. A nice warm brew. That wind has dropped a bit. And we're just moving into midday now. It's been, we had one dropped run after that one. I'm just hoping that, you know, as the light continues to go and the hours pass, that we get one more chance. And on that last clip you would have seen Steve just at his rods and that rod has literally just pulled out the clip and like I always say on these sessions it's you get one each is what we come for and anything else is a bonus and it's what going fishing with a mate is all about hopefully we can get this one in and we can take a look at it that's the business end of a pike as you can see Steve there his fingers nowhere near the teeth if you look in his mouth plenty of room to work with and one safely unhooked pike we'll get it rested in the edge and take a look at it they seem to be just onto the second shelf not a massive fish neither probably seven seven and a half at a push 
but it's a new water that me and Dan have decided to come to today instead of going to the original um, water we wanted to and we thought it was a very very good choice and uh, we've now caught one each and hopefully there's some more out there I'll drop it back in so it's about two o'clock and after a bit of waiting the lines pulled out the clip and we have been having one or two drop runs on here today I know Steve's had one on the mackerel and the line pulled straight out the clip and it was going off nice and steady and just as it was about to strike it all went slack and the, the fish dropped the bait it's the way it goes at times but it's been four runs on here and two fish on the first session got about two hours of the session to go so hopefully Mr Pike comes back today most certainly isn't one of them days for fishing the float it's definitely a lead day so bait wise today I've brought with me mackerel and lamprey two baits that are quite solid and you can cast far when you're fishing the leads and you're trying to cast a bit of a distance two baits that stay on the hook very well tough skin and you get a couple of casts out of them the lamprey obviously you get plenty of sense and plenty of attraction you can see let them defrost they're the only bait that I really let defrost the night before they'll stay on the hook and they don't have to be frozen like a sardine does but look at all that blood and everything coming out of them a great bait for when you want to cast far out a bait that I don't really use that often in a pollen and I've got that in case I want to pop a bait up I'm not really one for putting um, poly balls on my rig but that is a bait that will naturally pop up again when fishing the ledger you can do that not really something that I'd fish on the float because you don't want the bait popping up against your line but with the ledger it's an option and then the humble smelt a bait that I wouldn't be without anywhere as I said on the channel before it is my go to bait it catches fish no matter where you go I don't know why it has a unique smell to it but it's a fantastic bait so in there we've got a good selection of baits different options different size baits smells and ones that will stay on the hook well and there we go after a few drop runs at stay with his second pike of the day and who knows has this been the pike that's been going round picking up all them baits and it's finally slipped up on a smelt it's a lovely pike let's get it straight back so after that last pike the weather really did move in as you can see on screen now the skies went jet black and the wind really did get up we give it until last light but no more pike came i'd like to thank you all very much for watching tight lines in your own fishing and i'll catch us all next week tight lines